In this bomb calorimetry problem, a sample of graphite weighing 0.562 grams is burned in a bomb calorimeter with excess oxygen. The temperature increases as indicated in the problem, and we're asked to calculate both Q for the reaction and delta E for the reaction in kilojoules per mole. We're also given the heat capacity of the calorimeter as 20.7 kilojoules per degree Celsius and a balanced equation for the reaction. The relevant equation that we'll use for bomb calorimeter calculations is that Q for the calorimeter equals C cal, the heat capacity of the calorimeter, times delta T, the change in temperature. But since we know that Q for the reaction is equal to negative Q for the calorimeter, that is, the reaction and the calorimeter have the same magnitude of heat exchange but opposite in sign, we then know that Q for the reaction is equal to negative, note the negative sign there in blue, negative C cal, heat capacity of the calorimeter, times the change in temperature. The first thing we'll do is calculate delta T using the following equation, which will automatically give us the correct sign for delta T, remembering that that delta always means the final value of something minus the initial value. Delta T is therefore equal to the final temperature minus the initial temperature. And that gives us a value for delta T of 0 0.89 degrees Celsius. Now we're ready to plug into the above equation here. Q reaction equals negative C cal times delta T. And we were given the, the heat capacity for the calorimeter is negative 20.7 kilojoules per degree Celsius. We'll multiply that times the delta T that we just calculated of 0 0.89 degrees Celsius to get Q for the reaction of 18 kilojoules. Then the final step is to take that Q for the reaction and convert it into delta E. But remember that that Q for the reaction was the heat for only 0 0.562 grams of graphite. And we want to convert that to kilojoules per mole of graphite. So we're going to take that, that Q for reaction in kilojoules and divide it by the number of moles of graphite to get units of kilojoules per mole. Now in this calculation, I've already taken the, the, um, <coughs> the mass of graphite, 0.562 grams, and converted it to moles of graphite using the molar mass of carbon. And we got 0 0.0468 moles of carbon. So when we divide that into the Q for the reaction of 18 kilojoules, we get a delta E for the reaction of 380 kilojoules per mole.